goose. <laughs> <laughs> It was. It was. <laughs> I thought we were doing a six second and then we were going to a different one. In a previous episode, we gave you a factory tour, showed you how their main gear shocks are made, and now we'll dive into their Stinger tailwheel design. Welcome back to Acme. I'm Eric. I uh, want to talk to you real quick about our Stinger coming up. All right, so a um, bunch of our guys that we have relationships with that are doing really aggressive off airport stuff um, presented us with a problem of them breaking leaf springs. Um, also, one, one big issue that we found is with that leaf spring, that energy has to go somewhere, so it's being transferred into the fuselage. So they're breaking like cross members in the fuselage, stuff like that. So um, after a year and a half, two years of development, um, taking feedback from all of our guys, uh, we came out with the Stinger tailwheel. Um, it's it's a really cool piece. I'll show you some of the functionality and some of the uh, features in it. Um, first and foremost, to overcome some of those those issues of transferring that energy into the fuselage you don't want to talk about it it's not real sexy all the time but um the shock absorbs all of that energy so i think that's one of the best features of this thing is that this shock absorbs the energy the load is spread out here so now it's not transferring all that energy into the fuselage so it's a whole lot better for your airframe um, another really great feature in this um, is and what we learned in testing is um, a lot of people think that caster um, accounts for shimmy a majority of the time, so your caster here. Uh, what we found is in testing, camber, camber really, it's probably 80% of why you're getting wheel shimmy. So uh, whether the airframe's beat up back there or it just wasn't exactly level in the jig uh, when it was built, a lot of these sometimes they live and i'm going to do something really drastic here like it lives like this um on the airframe when all, in all actuality it wants to live level so it, when it's here it's trying to go back to that level place and it and you get that wheel shimmy of it trying to go back to where it wants to live so we overcame that by um during installation if you level your airplane um, if you put a level on the header rack um, and then during installation when this a arm is hanging down you can run a level here and make sure that it's completely squared up um, to where you can overcome shimmy by adjusting here so you can run this high in and this high out or vice versa to compensate um, and make sure you get the proper camber of of the tail wheel so another great feature of that one uh, of the stinger uh, there's tons of adjustability as far as um, as your rate is concerned you can move the this bolt and the the attachment point you can move it forward to flatten this out more and that that softens the rate significantly by 22 percent if you move it back it stiffens it and uh, by 22 percent and so so you can kind of adjust your rate um, just by switching holes there. You can also adjust your uh, angle of attack by how you adjust the uh, this heim here and and the heims here. You can run them in or out to adjust your angle of attack. So there really is, there's tons and tons of adjustability built into it. Um, one huge question we get often is why did you expose the shock to the elements, right? So this is this is what's taking the brunt of it. Well, in all actuality, this is the strongest part of this setup. Um, this all here, this shock actually does a great job at protecting 
um, the, the guts of it right here. So, um, you know, and I don't know if anybody's seen our YouTube destruction video where we drug it around Uwari National Park, um, but we really did. We spent all day trying to tear this thing up and we would back it up and run it into stumps. We would run it into rocks and just absolutely try to demolish this thing and we couldn't get it to break. Finally, we got goose to throw a rock on top of it. Still didn't break. So this is protecting all of this which is the, the absolute strongest part of the setup. So that's why this is exposed to the elements as opposed to this. Another really awesome thing about it is it will not, this has a bump stop in here to where it will not let it go past parallel. So you can't get it up into your rudder unless you do something absolutely uh, catastrophic. Um, so you can't go past center here to where it'll get up into your rudder which is another great feature. There's uh, two bolt setups. We also have a single bolt setup. We have a setup for a Matco. Uh, we have different mounts to adjust to different platforms. So, uh, so there's, you know, it, it, it's versatile. We can fit to most anything. Everything that we've made, everything that we make period, um, comes, direct, it's sourced, all the materials are sourced here in the US. Everything's built in the US. Nothing from China. Um, whatsoever. Um, so, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the stinger in a nutshell. If you're finding value in this video, hit the like button on this video and it's really important that you subscribe as it helps me get sponsors like Airworks, Kit Plane Parts, Acme Aero, Edge Performance Engines, and Viking Aircraft Engines. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for special offers from our affiliates. Let's jump back in. All right, so big question of course, how much does this thing weigh? So it's just a tick heavier than a four stack leaf spring. Um, I'm gonna put my salesman hat on right now and say um, a little weight in the tail never hurt anybody, right? Um, but it comes in at 7.8. Um, that's, a, that's a two bolt. The one bolt um, is roughly about the same. It might be a tenth of a pound heavier. Uh, but yeah, 7.8, it's, it's just a little bit heavier than a four stack leaf spring. All right, Goose is back. And you're gonna tell us a little bit about the internals and uh, details of this tailwheel system. Yeah, so Eric talked a lot about how all of the applications on the plane, and I just wanna talk a little bit about the shock because that's what I'm messing with, is how we've proven stuff out of all of the components that's inside the Stinger shock is also inside our Black Ops and Pro stuff, our, our main gear. Also, we're using the same body caps, the same proven parts bodies. Uh, just a quick little internal. It's the same setup as our shafts with a welded top out plate. So we've got a ton of safety there. It's a spring inside. It's a divider piston. Throw that on the ground. And a main piston, you know, so all that is inside of the way that we've packaged it, lightweight, tight, um, it's fully valvable. We've got several different builds and setups, two different spring rates, depending on how heavy or light your plane is. Um, you know, the adjustability is there, the tunability is there. It's still a serviceable performance shock like our main gear is. So uh, there's a lot of uh, cool parts inside of it. All right, Matt, so uh, where can people find you online to get a hold of you and ask you questions and, and do business with you? So you can check us out on Facebook uh, at uh, Acme Arrow. You can go to our website, www.acmearrowfab.com. Give us a call, 704-496-902, or come by and see us here at the shop, uh, 137 Knob Hill Road, Mooresville, North Carolina, Race City, USA. Hold on, this fast. So, so this is just, this is just, this is just, this is just, this is just uh, You want to do an invitation? Are you the hand model? <laughs> I think it looks better that way. <laughs> like that? Right. Well, it's, or maybe that. You want to show some leg yeah. while you're in there yeah, too? Maybe too much. Down the barrel. Right down the barrel. All right. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. 
was. It was. It was. I thought we were doing a six second and then we were going to a different one. <laughs> I'm not real good at this. All right, what's the Acme boys doing today? We put a 300 pound guy and we're gonna drag it through the woods and we're gonna beat the ever loving crap out of this 300 pound guy. If somebody breaks this thing, they're an idiot. Goose wants to throw a rock on it. Here we go. Goose. Remember to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and we now have the podcast on Podbean, iTunes, and Google Play. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.